can get to those highlights. Here we go. Royals coming out on the field, excited to take on the Trojans. Royals leading at 7-6 to six mid first, but here come the Trojans on the ground. Dominic Ferraro in from four yards out for the touchdown. 12-7 McDowell. Erie quarterback Isaac Munson looking to throw deep, but it's intercepted by Justin Spear for the Trojans. And quickly, defense turns to offense again. Ferraro scores. It's 25-7 to seven. Trojans in the second. Ferraro with five touchdowns. McDowell appears to be running away with this, but not so fast. The Royals storming back. Danny Blue, the touchdown pass here. He had a pair of them before Erie took a 34 to 32 lead. And in the fourth, less than six minutes to play, Erie down six. They grab it again. 41 to 40. Erie late. But McDowell's Lenny McLaughlin lining up for the go ahead. 27 yard field goal with 22 seconds to play. And he nails it. McDowell hangs on in a thriller to beat Erie High 43 to 41. Um, I just had to go out and keep focused and had to put it through. I can trust my snapper and holder to do the job, and I got to do mine. Well, it was pretty good. I, I thought 41-40, I thought it was going to be the same as last year, but he came back and he fought. It was, it was just great. It's great, great to get this win. I, I just have to thank my line. They're fantastic. I would never be able to do it without them. So McDowell scores a 43-41 win over Erie High. Dominic Ferraro, 163 yards and five touchdown runs for the Trojans. Danny Blue and Tony Foster each topping 100 yards and combined for three scores for Erie. The Trojans go to Holidaysburg next Friday at 7. Erie's off till October 6th against Canisius out of Buffalo. We began the day out in Linesville. Pair of 3-1 and one football teams. General McLean visiting Kyle Sheets and Conneaut area. No score in the first here. It's Sheets taking it in for the short touchdown run. Cash going up 8-0 after the jump pass on a two-point conversion. Eagles have it again, and this time it's Peyton Hearn from a few yards out. 14-0 game, but McLean hanging around. Here comes the big play from Dominic West. 58 yards to the house. Big Lancer touchdown here for GM, but closing out the half is Hearn with another score, 20-7 to on this touchdown run, but let's check out the Lewis Fitness and Performance scoreboard. Cash hanging on by a thread to beat McLean. 36-35 in double overtime. What a game we had this afternoon. More high school football down in Meadville. That's where Ray Collins Bulldogs welcome Jake Capella and the Warren Dragons. Meadville looking good on defense early in this one. Capella back to pass, but Orion Cotterman caught a man here on the sack and the takedown. And the offense for Meadville grinding out a long drive before it's finally sophomore running back Lane Rear keep, keeping it and capping off the 23 yard touchdown run to the left side. 6 0 Bulldogs. Warren with a few answers of their own, though. And how about this one? Marvin Bryant taking the toss sweep left side, scores from 10 yards out. And sticking with it there, the Dragons win in a wild one, 21 to 20 late over the Bulldogs, who dropped to 0 and 5. Back to the scores we go, and it's Corey edging Titusville 8 to 6 in Region 6 action this afternoon. The Beavers went for 2 on the game's final touchdown and got it. The Beavers visit Northeast next Friday. The Rockets host Slippery Rock next Friday as well. Local college football.